Welcome back to Hemachoice.net. I'm going to show you today Log Me In Ignition. There it is. This uh, has my details already. It logs me into like a central server run by the Log Me In people. Um, I've installed the Log Me In software on a few of my uh, Windows PCs. So that's my main PC, left up at the top there. That's on, it's right next to me. My server, that's downstairs. My laptop, that's off at the moment. And that one's me mum at the bottom, just in case she needs help ever. Um, so like I said, it goes through a, go a service. So even though I'm on Wi-Fi, it's not operating across the network. I'm going to choose to go to my server downstairs. Um, like I said, I've installed the software down there. The software is free. Um, here we go. We've got some hints and tips now for remote control. Pinch to zoom. One finger to pan screen and move mouse. Yep. Single taps are single clicks. Double taps are double clicks. Quite obvious. This is the clever bit. Uh, two finger taps are right clicks. Double tap and slide to drag items. Two finger scroll like a scroll wheel. I don't need to try that. I've not tried that. It's two finger scroll like a scroll wheel. Uh, for right click, activate right mouse mode on the toolbar. Change the scroll mode under settings. Yep. So I know that bit. Right. So. I go sideways now. So it's a bit, uh, it's a bit better. So at the moment, I'm set to move the screen around wherever, wherever I move. We pinch the zoom, um, but if we go into settings, we can change the screen resolution. As you can see, the network speed, uh, scroll mode, or screen move. So I can change that to mouse moves, and now I move, I move the mouse around within. Oh, that looks more like a screen. That's gone back to screen move, hasn't it? Oh, is it because I was so closely zoomed in? Yeah, so now I'm moving the moving the mouse around. I was surprised. I actually prefer, when you get used to it, screen moves. Um, show hints at the beginning. I'll turn that off, actually. What happens when I exit? Always ask me. Just return, return to the computer list or just close it. I prefer just to close it when I'm done. Uh, you can lock the keyboard in, in view and stuff like that. So... I'm now on move the screen screen around and double tap it'll open. I think it's right there it is. Um sorry did it say mind you I've got nothing to scroll, have I? Let's try scrolling this. It's a two finger to scroll, it said. No. Oh, I think my mean oh that's zooming. Anyway, um, yeah, so log me in ignition. What I like is it doesn't run over the network, um, so I can go to work and I can connect into either my PCs if I need to do anything. Um, but, oh dear, sorry, I'll come off the camera. Uh, but, like, the the price is rather expensive at 23 euros 99. I guess it's generally going to be for, for like businesses mainly. Um, but, you know, you get 24 hours, don't forget on the marketplace so you can always buy it just give it a go if you think it's worth the the rather large outlay then you keep it if you don't you just un uninstall and refund um, I should point out there are different buttons along the bottom that mainly do what we're already doing uh, I can bring if you can type anything you bring up the keyboard like so you get the options along the top there for controls alt and the windows key and all stuff like that um, get rid of the zoom bar again and uh, that's it. I mean, it's not a massive great deal more to it, but it is very useful um, if it's the kind of, you know, if you've got different PCs dotted about the place. And obviously you can connect from PC to PC, so I can log into the website and, and connect to one of the PCs on my list as well. So it's not just from your phone, it's just a phone app that's very expensive. Uh, let's see. And that's it. So that's Log Me in Ignition. My name's Andy. This is Hemadroids.net.